Hello guys, welcome to PCTP Presence Tech View. Uh, today I will show you actually whenever you try to add a SXA host in a B center, sometimes you experience some issues. So you you do the prop you, you, like you did properly everything, but your host you are not able to see on the B center because the like add a host on the domain uh, like uh, add, add a host on the B center is not successful. But why it's happened? I'll show you exactly step by step. Let me share my screen and I'll explain to you. So this is my B center, and I have total now um, two hosts, and I'm trying to add my third host. So on for the third host, I have already in which is IP number one eighty two dot one sixty eight dot one dot thirteen. If you can look at here, my my host is ready. My host is available. Everything is available, but I'm not able to add this. Why? That's what I'm going to explain. So I have the IPs and I have the DNS name created here. You see the LS MS host zero one. This is my uh, host DNS, which is called FQDN of the host. I can I can show you with the CMD command is pinging and everything working fine. So before you add, you should, you're supposed to check like this. So I'm checking this, it's pinging. That means my host is available with uh, with the FQDN. And also make sure this is the right FQDN and it has a return, like uh, what is called, which is called uh, like uh, the name to IP and IP to name, which uh, like you have to test, uh, like it, it can resolve forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone both. So that's what I'm testing here. And let's look up with the name first. So it's result, right? It's giving you name plus IP address. Now I'm gonna test with the IP address. If you test NS lookup, same thing you're getting, right? Both are you getting, right? Okay, all right. So looks like everything is good, but I'm now I'm going to try here to add the host, right? How are we gonna add the host? Right click on on your data center or maybe on cluster, but I'm, I'm trying from the data center at host and the IP address or maybe FQDN and then the username is the password, right? Okay, click next. And this is the certificate, yes. As the version of the UDSXA host. And it asks you like since I'm using the vCenter eight, it asking you do you want to like do you want to manage the whole a host image? Yeah, we do. Like that's why I click next, and then I know which version I'm using. Um, this is seven update one. I think update one B this one, which I supposed to check it before I actually do it. How I can check this one? So I already logged in there. I already logged in there. If I go here, update one. Also, if you go here, uh, you can say about. Yes, the bill number is one seven five five one zero five zero. One zero five zero. I'm not sure I can, I can get the same thing here. Yeah, here. Actually, this one, you see? This is how you can select. And then Bender. I know this is the uh, Bender, Dell Bender. So it's Dell EMC. Like uh, the ESXi version I installed is a Dell Customize. So this is update one, this one. So exactly everything match. Click Next. And the uh, license. So you can have the evolution license or you can have the uh, this license, that's fine. Or you can assign it later on, also is fine. So click next, 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 and finish. So it's supposed to be add here, right? You're supposed to see host should be added here, right? But it's gonna be fair. Yes. What is, what it, what it says? Operation failed, add a standalone host. 
a general system error occurred enabled to push signed certificate to the host desk. So that means vCenter wasn't able to push the certificate to the host. What is the reason? The reason is it's timing. The reason is the NTP time. So let's look at what does the NTP time mean. All right, so on the host, I just log into the host. And if you go to the manage, and in here you can see, since I used actually older version, I installed the older version. Right now it's uh, like for ESXi 7, it's up, released uh, update three, but I installed update one. So it's pretty old version. And that's why it has old time stamping on it, time stamp. So current date and time, Wednesday, January 8, 2020. Do you think today is January 2020? Today is what? 2, 16, that means February 16, 2025. February 16, 2025. But my ESXA host timestamp is January 8, 2020. So which is not the right time. So what do you have to do? You have to change the timing. So manually, you don't need to time the change. You can do the manual time change, but how many times you're going to do the manual time change? So that's why you have to go to edit the NTP, network time protocol NTP, and say use this. And in here, start and stop with host, and then provide an IP address here. Uh, uh, so NTP server here. So you can create your own NTP. If you work for a company, you can use the company's NTP. Or if you don't have nothing, then you can search Google free NTP server. So, and also there's, and then it's gonna give you a lot of NTP server IP, public NTP, Google. So also you can get it from Google, anyone you can, you can assign. And also NIST internal time server, you can do this one. And that is a lot, time.a.gov, get this location. So it has a multiple location. So if you if you are belongs to this location, you can use this this time uh, NTP uh, NTP server uh, uh, like address, and also you can go like the first one which is called shows here uh, United State. If you are at the United States, then you can just open this one North America, Iran, United Kingdom. So it depends on where you are located. So so I can take this one since I am here. I can use this one or also I can use this one, like US United States. I think I already opened US, no. Uh, I think I opened this one, United States. So I can use this one, US dot, this one. I can use this one or I can use this one. Anyone I can use. So I'm going to use this one because it's Maryland and I'm, and I'm, I'm living in Virginia. So it's the same time zone, EST zone. So I don't have any problem. So I can assign this one to here. You can you can have multiple. Oh, sorry, not this one. In here, on the host. So you can have multiple one. If you want multiple, then just comma and then put another one. Another one means like maybe the other this one. If you want, you can have multiple. It's up to you. Or or single one is also fine. And save. And then go action. Refresh, okay, still. So what do you have to do? You have to restart the services, otherwise it's not gonna change. Because you, in here you said what? NTP, use the NTP time. And in here you said start and stop with host. So you have to restart the host. Then it's gonna be, it will get the, it's a start and stop with host. It's not changed yet, but you have to change it. And I think there is a service, NTP service. Uh, okay, here, services. So it, it's here, NTPD. This is the service. So just, this is a stop, by default stop, you can say start. So from the host, I logged in individually on the host, right? And from there, NTPD, that means NTP, 
running, right? So now you go back here, system, time and date, refresh. It should be changed. Yeah, it's running. It says it's running, but just a couple of times change. Okay, now it's changed, you see? And then put it back to start and stop. So now you have February 16, 2025. And NTP service status is stop again, but go here. It's running. Okay, it's running now. I just say refresh it. It's running. Now you can try it. Now you can try it. So in here, host number three, right? So I'm going to add host number three. Actually, I just copied number two. And when I'm going to add, I'll use number three. Right click, add host. And then here, it's actually it's host number three, right? Just rename the, the three and then click next, root and password. Yes. Now, the same thing, image, you know, what's the image version? So you have to find out which image you have. So from there, if you log, when you, sorry, you log into this system, right? So host and the version is here. 17551050. And this is Dell customized ESX side. Dell version is AI05, right? So we got all the information. Also you have information here. And also you can check from help about, and you can see here. So we already figured out the version. So just go seven, this one, 17551015. And the images, we know Dell customize image, Dell customize image, upgrade one, this one, L05, right? Click next, and then select the license, next and finish. And and uh, done. So now, look at here. It's working here, zero percent. But you see, it's already added as a disconnected, and then it's going to be maintenance more, and then you'll be able to add it. <laughs> so ninety percent completed. This is the process of adding a host with the center. So now the host is under, oh, I already joined under the uh, uh, cluster. Okay, go. I just put this on the cluster, put this on the cluster. Okay, it's pretty simple and easy. I put this one into the cluster. All right, so then my new three host is in the cluster. All right, that's all. So this is how you can resolve the NTP issues when like, if you're uh, like adding a node, adding a, a ESX host into the B center failed, that means is first thing is, is related to the NTP time issue. This is the time issue, timing issue. And that's all, that's all. Um, I hope this video will help you, like if you face same kind of issue. And if you like this video, please give a big thumbs up. And also if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And thank you, thanks for watching.